Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to set up a Spotify Ad Studio uh, campaign, audio campaign. So uh, before we start, you need to have a free Spotify account. So if you haven't got one of those, just, just create one of those, just like a listener account. Um, so you just hop over to uh, Spotify.com and sort of start your free trial. Um, but I've already got one of those, so we won't worry about that. So once you've you've set up your free Spotify account, you need to just create a free Spotify ad studio account. Um, so just ask a few questions about you and, and what kind of ads you're running. So I've already done that stage, so I'll just take you straight into Spotify ad studio. So here's some previous ads that I've run. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. So once you're kind of set up on Spotify, you're set up on Spotify ad studio, you can come in to create an ad. And then it asks you a few questions. So are you promoting a music artist on Spotify, a concert or some artist merchandise, or are you promoting a non-music related thing? So a brand, a product, an organization. So in this case, we'll say that we are. Uh, we'll name the ad. So for, for this one, we'll just call it test ad one. And we'll click next. So this is where you do your schedule and your budget. So the way it used to be, uh, before Ad Studio launched, you had to have a minimum £10,000 budget and an account manager to run an ad on Spotify. Now, what Ad Studio allows is for you to have a minimum £250 budget uh, and you can run it yourself. You don't need an account manager or anything. So for this test, let's just say we're going to... Um, I'm going to start it on a Sunday and we're going to run it for uh, two weeks. So we've got a two week campaign with a £250 budget. Um, and then it's going to ask you some sort of demographics and geographical locations. So let's say we're going to uh, target the United Kingdom. So you can just target the whole country like that. Or if you want to be specific, you can target certain cities within the UK or whatever country you want to target. And then it kind of works out your um, your delivery based on your budget here. So it gives you the amount per ad served. So every time someone hears the ad, uh, that's the cost they will charge your campaign. Um, and then it gives you some estimates of how many people are gonna hear it. Um, and yeah, the budget is likely to be spent because I guess it's quite a small budget for a two week campaign. So you could bring that down and make that one week and see how that adjusts the stats. But, um, and then you can kind of play around with some of the targeting. So if you wanna, uh, in this case, we'll just leave all gender, all platforms. You could do specific campaigns targeting Android users versus iOS. Um, but in, in the past, I've just left this as, as it comes basically. And so you can just target, so where we've targeted everybody in the UK, um, Oh, age, I guess you might want to target a bit older, maybe depending on the product. So the test example I'm using is is a, a podcast. Um, so maybe you might want to target people kind of 16, 16 and up. Um, I imagine younger people are listening to podcasts, but yeah, you, you can tweak this however you want, basically, depending on what your campaign is for. Um, and then so you can just leave it as you're targeting everybody with a free account in the UK or you can go into some of this additional targeting. So you can target based on their interests, um, which it kind of figures out based on podcasts they listen to and playlists they listen to. Um, so yeah, you can you can really drill down and target. If you, if you say, I guess, say we're promoting a podcast about business, uh, which, which we are in this example, you might want to target people that are interested in business um, and interested in podcasts. Um, so that's that, or you can, so instead of targeting by interest, you can target by real-time context. So if they're listening to a, uh, say your, your campaign is for a cooking uh, food product, and you wanna target people that are listening to playlists as they're cooking, you can target them in that real-time uh, situation that they're in. So they're cooking, presumably, uh, because they're listening to a cooking playlist, then that's when you can target them with your campaign. Um, so, and then the other one is genres. So if you, I guess this is more like if you, if you're targeting someone with a music, a music product or campaign, but 
you can target people based on the type, the genre of music they listen to. Uh, hip, yeah, hip hop. I guess that probably is. Um, or no additional targeting and just target the widest possible audience, which is what I've tended to do in the past. But you can drill down further if you want to. Okay, so we've got our targeting, we've got our schedule, we've got our budget. We're targeting geographically and then, yeah, age targeting there. So let's move on. Okay, so here's where you can either tar you can either create your own audio creative, which I've done for this example, or you can create something from scratch. So I'll show you if, if, if you've got your own audio already, if you're recording your own ad, or if you've got a production company that's already produced an audio ad for something else for your website video or something, and you can kind of strip the audio out of that, you can upload your own audio here. So let's just do that. I um, So I've got an example one here that I've done in the past. So upload your audio ad, it needs to be 30 seconds. There's a whole, there's some um, guidance over here, ad studio guidelines that you can download. And that just gives you some tips about <clears throat> about recording uh, how you what you should kind of cover in the ad um, technical specs so yeah 30 seconds or less the type of file it needs to be uh, the type of image that you, you your companion image so that's quite handy to use if you if you're building your own ad for this for this example it was for a business podcast so we obviously had the audio there as part of the podcast so it was quite easy to pull out um, highlights of that and make a kind of 29 second trailer which we used for this ad and it gives you a little preview Here we go. when you're living and breathing something then you can talk about it with minutes of my life twirling a pen or stroking a pile of money so that's the the preview of your audio file um, and then you need to add an accompanying uh, image so this it gives you the specs here it needs to be 640 by 640 pixels um, so again, you can you can create something in your own. So we created this with some designers, um, and then just added a couple of logos, added a Spotify logo in Canva, and it gives you a preview there of how it's going to look. Um, and then you can decide your call to action button. So uh, for this example, it's a podcast that we want people to listen to. So we'd probably have listen now, um, and then when they would click that it needs to tell them a place to go. So um, I think with this case, we had them link straight to the podcast on Spotify. But if you wanted to link them off to a website, for example, um, let's say we wanted to link them off to the official website for that podcast, then we would just pop that in there. Or you could create a specific landing page, um, particularly for people coming from this ad, from this ad. Uh, you can do whatever you want basically but it gives you a preview of how the ad will look on mobile and how it will look on desktop and so if we i mean if we had the the image ready and the audio ready like i have and if you know where you want to send the the people that click you're kind of done you can move on but um i'll just show you how you do it if you're creating the audio from scratch so let's hop over to that one so what you can do here is you can write a script, um, bearing in mind it needs to be no more than 30 seconds. Uh, so this is where you write your, your script copy. You can add a background track, so you can even add your own um, track if you've kind of got it approved to use um, in ads like this, or you can choose from a, a sort of standard library. quite generic but if you just wanted some kind of background music um, behind your words then then you could use some of those I guess the risk is that some other people may be using those ones but the options there anyway so then you write your script and then you choose your voiceover artist so let's say okay we want them to be um, I want it to be English in this case because it's an English podcast um, and we want, so actually we might, if it's a business, it's a business podcast, so we might want it to be like a middle-aged male, uh, because it's talking about Dragon's Den and investment and things like that. So 
it does, I mean, you can actually, in the past, I've run campaigns with different, so we ran a campaign for a digital marketing platform and had three ads uh, with three different voices. So I think we had a, uh, like a middle-aged female, middle-aged male, and a young male, just to test and, and see whether, um, whether different voices had any uh, impact on the stats. And then here's some instructions for the voice actor. So this is really useful if you've got words that, uh, if you've got words in your copy that need to be pronounced a certain way. So in, in the past, actually, when I did a campaign for that digital marketing platform, um, it was it was pronounced um, a certain way that I didn't think of when I was scripting it, but actually it, it's, it came back and, and the actor was saying it completely different. The actor was saying it as it's spelt, but it was kind of said a different way. And, uh, and that was something I didn't even think of. So it's really worthwhile putting any instructions in there that might help the actor know how to say certain words, or if you want a, a certain tone of voice, or you want them to read it really fast, or you want them to kind of uh, slow down and, and read it quite slowly. This is where you'd add all those instructions rather than adding them in with the script here. Um, and again, you need, you, you kind of upload your own image. Spotify basically provide this, uh, the audio part for free because you're running a campaign with them, but they don't provide any help with the image side. So, um, I, yeah, I would definitely recommend Canva is a really good free tool and you can set it up to, you set up the sizing to be 640 by 640. Uh, and, and it could just be your logo or, or you could get a bit more um, fancy with it. But yeah, just create yourself an image basically that's gonna that's gonna look good and eye catching on, on mobile and desktop. And the same again, so you, you check you click your call to action, there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of options there, and you set your click through URL. So we'll just go back to the track that I use just so I can show you. Um, so let's move on and this is it this is your final kind of review screen so it just confirms your name of your ad uh, how long it's going to run what your budget is uh, how you're going to pay what your payment card is and um, and you basically submit your order and then it goes off for approval it's quite quick it, it takes um, maybe a day for Spotify to just check the audio, check the image, check they're happy and everything. Maybe a bit, a little bit longer if you're uh, doing the whole scripting process and, and voiceovers. Although actually when, when I did that, voiceovers came back within sort of overnight. There was a few options in the inbox and you can listen to them. You can um, reject them completely. You can go back with notes and they'll record a, a, a second draft. Uh, it's quite an easy process, but even easier if you've got your own creative already and then you place your order so obviously i won't do that in this case but i'll show you what it's like once you once you have done it um let's go back <clears throat> okay manage ads so once you've done your ad and you've had it approved and everything, it gets added to your sort of dashboard here. Um, so here's where you can see previous ads that, that I've run, all with a £250 budget, and they've they've kind of reached about 30,000 people on average each time. Um, so let's I'll show you, obviously there's different statuses, so you can show just active ads, um, I think once you once you click place order, it probably adds it in the, the processing status, um, or maybe even pending approval. But yeah, you can keep it on all, all ad view, and it will kind of show them as you create them. And so once you've got them, they'll they'll obviously start running whenever you've scheduled them, and it will start. I think stats start appearing within within the first twenty four hours. Um, so it will show you. Uh, the charts of, of when they were served um, and the, the stats, the figures around that each day. Yeah, each day during the campaign. Uh, it gives you obviously the, the overall breakdown and click through rate, amount of clicks, uh, the amount of ads served and the amount of people they reached. It gives you all of that and you can download that as well uh, as a spreadsheet. So that's good. And then you've got, yeah, it gives you an audience breakdown, which is useful. So 
uh, gives you the demographics, the age demographics of who clicked um, and who, no, sorry, it gives you the age demographics of who uh, who they were served to, not clicks. And the same for the gender. So served is just if they if they were played, if, if it was played to somebody, then it was served to somebody. Um, gives you the genres of music if you if you wanted to kind of track that, and gives you the um, platforms that people were most served on. Um, I mean, these campaigns compared to I guess some uh, Facebook ads or, or Google, they're I've always seen these as that they're better for. Um, reach rather than necessarily generating clicks it's it's good because the thing is you you're going to reach people that <clears throat> you're going to reach people that are listening on their device <clears throat> excuse me uh, listening on their device looks like there's a problem oh looks like there's a problem apparently um yeah you, you're going to reach people that are listening on their device and the device might be in their pocket and they might not be able to click but at least you've you've reached them with your brand name um so that's that's how I've always seen these. These are a good additional channel to use alongside Facebook, Google ads, uh, Instagram ads, whatever else you're doing. I think this is good to have running in the background because you're reaching somebody um, audibly rather than just visually. So someone can hear your, ideally someone would hear your ad uh, as well as seeing it on Facebook or Instagram, as well as seeing it on Google when they're browsing. So it's just another touch point to reach people basically um, and you can just in each ad click into add details and just remind yourself of um, the targeting the audience the click-through link that you were taking them to uh, yes yeah, so I can show you so this one was this particular ad was taking them through to the podcast channel on Spotify um, you can just remind yourself what the ad sounds like <laughs> with passion and you can let your personality you can download it if you want to kind of keep um say you lose it or something and you want to you want to re-download it um yeah and that is it really and yeah, so you've got drafts you can uh there you go that's where that draft was that we just did so you can you can obviously you could create a whole batch of uh draft ads um play around with the the different targeting and everything and then sort of place the orders when you're ready um, you've got account settings so yeah you have to set your VAT number and if you've got one your, your, um, your, your business industry and things like that but I don't think you have to do that if you're just running ads for um, you know for, for yourself you, if you haven't got some of those information you just let them know that and they they they're quite they're quite good customer service they, they kind of talk back and forward with you to get you or set up if you have any issues so that is it that is how to run a spotify ad campaign it's quite quick and it's, it's quite easy actually it's quite a nice interface that uh, spotify have got they've made it really simple for people to use um so yeah give it a, give it a try it's, it's particularly good i guess if, if people are looking for any uh, additional channels to try um outside of the normal um it's it's and it's actually a, a good test to try and distill your brand or your campaign or your product into a 30 second audio ad it, it kind of forces you to pick out the key points uh, that you want to get across to somebody that may not be able to click anywhere if they're listening in their pocket or something but you want them to hear your ideally hear your brand name and your key messages so it's actually it's a good task uh, to create ads for for spotify because it forces you to think like that rather than purely visually it forces you to think uh, audibly as well so yeah have a play around good luck if you use it and uh, if you need any help let me know mm -hmm.